Toy Tractor Times is at the 2019 St. Louis Farm Toy Show. We're here with Nathaniel Stravi from Alhambra, Illinois. Nathaniel, uh, you've got a great looking farm display down here in the youth division. And uh, do you mind giving us a tour? Sure. So we're at the uh, corn crib, uh, one of my friends, Garrett, is uh, shoveling out some uh, corn cobs to put into the uh, grain wagon or grind feed. And then we've got the archway grinder here. Yep. Got an Oliver corn picker in the corn crib. It looks like it's a Oliver White Farm Equipment kind of farm. A mixture of everything. Um, so tell me about this narrow front here. Um, I uh, kind of customized that to look like my grandpa's 270 white field ball tractor with okay. a 15 ton Oliver motor. Nice, and we got the cattle coming here to eat. This would be like a 30 to 40 uh, cow dairy. We have a couple cows trying to get loose, bull fight. Uh, the two gates here and here were busted up, so had to um, basically uh, improvise till we got the original ones fixed. Cleaning out the barn, uh, ignore, can't write the spread. We got a bobcat in there, and then is that a Moline G1000 on the spreader? Yep. I'm gonna just flip around here and take a look at that. They're a good looking tractor. Got the hayloft up here. Yep. I like, I have never seen anyone really show the inside of these this way. And that's neat to kind of show the straw and the bedding there getting pushed out. So, it's kind of around springtime when planting corn and beans, so we got the Two 135 white field boss on the John Deere planter, filling up with some seed corn. And uh, kind of uh, unloading for wheat, just um, finishing up unloading some leftover corn with a 560 International. Okay. And then uh, why don't we walk around this way and we'll come back to that other side. And Got the bush hog here, an old uh, two cylinder. Was this uh, Alice Travers 440 just rolling on by? Or? Okay, that's a cool tractor. Then we got, uh, looks like this must be your commodity shed with the round bales. And yep, got a new hog and in there for Case then we got a case, I think 9,000 Okay, 930 comfort key. Now what's going on here? You got the International uh, 4166 and it looks like a steam engine. Are they trying to get it going? Or? Um, we put the steam engine out like a couple of days ago and it was kind of like it's been like 100 degrees for the past couple of days, so the water's not going to be real cool. So some of the belts underneath trying to start up were rubbing together, started a fire, then kind of exploded. Well, and then so. we got my uncle trying to get the fire extinguisher off the 4166. Okay, yeah, I see the fire extinguisher there. That's a pretty intense cloud of smoke. Yep. So it looks like back here we've got the thresher that goes with the steam engine. We were going to take the thresher and the steam engine to a centennial show, um, but now that the steam engine kind of broke, kind of set back for taking that. Yeah, that would not be a good. Thing. Now we'll look here in the shed. We've got the new toy tractor time, so white 2105 in there. That looks pretty sharp. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the Holland kick baler, John Deere grain drill. Yep. Some other Olivers and sprayer. We uh, kind of collect like uh, we have a County Ford, a Super 99, and a couple of other tractors we collect. All right. I know I saw the County. Yeah, we'll come around here to the other side and take a 
look at those. So Nathaniel was talking about his county, which is a four-wheel drive, kind of four and five thousand size machine. And they were sold in the United States, but primarily in England. But they were popular in the 70s for a few years. You got the Oliver Super 99 next to it, and got an Oliver Super 44. And then uh, in this shed, you got a nice Oliver 2255. And uh, what model John Deere is that on the disc? 4955. It's very cool. It's over shed about 4960, but it's it's a cool tractor in itself. Got the Parker wagon and International 1460 combine. Yep. Just got done bailing straw a couple days ago, so haven't had time to put the straw up yet. Okay. Got the straw in there, and we've got the ag bag, some John Deere Forge wagons. Then out in the field, we've got a white 4210 field bus. Got the chisel plot. Was this where the wheat was, or they're working up the ground now? Or? Um, the wheat field would have been like, uh, like on the other side of the display, but this okay. would have been like the hay field from last year that they're just tilling out the corn. Okay. Well, it's a good, good time of year to get it all done. Well, Nathaniel, thank you for sharing the display with us, and great to see you out here at the St. Louis Show. Thanks a lot. Thanks for checking out Nathaniel's display here on Toy Tractor Times YouTube, and it's always great to see what people create and bring out to the shows, and we hope that you'll think about coming to the 2020 St. Louis Farm Toy Show. And thanks again for checking out Toy Tractor Times, and we look forward to bringing you more footage from the 2019 St. Louis Farm Toy Show.